Hey, what's up, Internet? Today's video is about solar panel cleaning and maintenance. I've been working in the solar industry for about six years, and this is definitely one of the most common questions that I get asked. Do I have to clean or maintain my solar panels? The short answer is yes, there is some maintenance involved with the solar system. Just like anything that's left outside, exposed to the elements, there's going to be degradation, there's going to be soiling, um, and you're going to have to you know, spend a little bit of time, maybe a little bit of money, uh, maintaining and keeping your system clean, especially the solar panels. Uh, really depends on the area that you live in, so it is case by case, but here in Lincoln, California, we get a pretty good amount of dust, and so I have to clean my panels uh, about two or three times a year. But it really is you know, up to you as the homeowner, the property owner, um, you know, what are your reasons for wanting to clean your solar panel? Increase efficiency to maximize the output. It, is it for aesthetics? Do you have the solar panels on the front of your house and when they're really dirty or maybe there's bird poop on them, it just doesn't look good. It's off-putting to, to the neighborhood. Maybe there's an HOA that requires the solar panels to be clean. There's a lot of reasons what, why you might want to clean your solar panels, but just general maintenance and longevity of the system, ensuring that you're maximizing the return on your investment. Uh, is just definitely recommended, at least in my opinion. You know, some people out there are going to tell you that, that there is no cleaning or maintenance required other than needing to replace the inverter, you know, every 10 to 15 years or so. That's kind of a sharky sales tactic. You don't want to blow the sale telling the person they're going to have to spend more time or money um, maintaining the system, you know, especially if it's an older person, they're not going to be able to get up on the roof. Maybe there's not a cleaning service around and they just decide, you know what, I don't want to do it because it's not going to look good if it's dirty on my house. That does happen. So some salespeople will say, oh, no, that's, that, that's, that's not a problem there. You know, you're not going to have to clean them. That's just not the truth. It's case by case. For my particular house, it's about three times a year. And uh, I want to give you a good visual as to, to why this is important. You can see in just a minute uh, how dirty my panels are. And once you see the before and after, um, you know, a picture speak a thousand words and, and the before and after really, really sells the, the cleaning and maintenance. So let's go ahead and check it out right now. This angle right here really does. What's up, baby? I'm going to climb up here and see you. You're going to climb all the way up here to see me? Mm -hmm. mm, okay, maybe wait right there for me, okay? This angle right here really brings to life what I'm trying to show. These things are absolutely filthy. And you can see that as I become a little more uh, perpendicular to the panel that the um, perspective of the dust kind of kind of dilutes just a little bit. Uh, but you can see that it is just super, super filthy and definitely needs to be cleaned. If you just spray off your solar panels with your garden hose, it is going to help a little bit. But the question is, how much? It's a question that I've always wanted answered. So today we're going to do a little experiment with the solar panels on my roof. I have these six panels here. And what we're going to do is two of them we're going to clean with soap and water, two of them we're just going to spray down, and two of them we're not going to touch at all. And then we're going to look at the before and after and see which cleaning method really has the biggest impact. There we go. We got these two clean with soap and water. These two we just sprayed off with water by itself, and these two we didn't touch at all. And you can see that just from this angle, the two on the end that didn't get touched at all are completely filthy. So at the very least, you need to be spraying your solar panels off with the garden hose from the ground the best you can. If you have the physical ability to get on the roof and to clean them with a brush, go ahead and do that because that's going to remove a lot of those heavier sediments and help improve the longevity of your system. Um, while this method, spraying with the hose, isn't really going to remove those heavy sediments that can build up over time, um, but it's better than doing nothing. Give you another angle here, you can see the ones at the very end are completely filthy and these ones that were just sprayed with water are much cleaner, which is definitely going to maximize your return over the lifetime of this system. Here's a similar angle from the beginning of the video, we got clean me written right here and you can see huge difference. Mission accomplished, we got these eight, the six here and the ten on the front of the house all cleaned up. As you saw from the video earlier, uh, cleaning absolutely makes a big difference. Now the question is, how long are these things going to stay clean for? Because that, that's really the question we want to be asking, especially if you're paying for a cleaning service. If you're paying $150 for somebody to come out and clean your solar panels and you know six weeks later they're just as dirty, 
uh, that's that's not helping you save any money it's one thing when it's your own sweat labor your sweat equity and you're not paying for it but when you're paying for it you want to make sure that they're going to stay clean for a while now those professional cleaning services do use better equipment they use uh, specialized brushes and filters that really help to remove those heavy sediments and actually keep the panels cleaner longer it is june 28th and we're going to circle back one month from today to see how dirty these panels are um, so on july 28th we'll climb back up here on the roof and we'll get a couple of those different angles to, to really see how dirty these things are and see how long the cleaning actually keeps them clean for thanks so much for watching remember to give us a like and a share also leave a comment if you have any questions positive or constructive criticism feel free to subscribe if you like this content if you have any questions about solar send me an email joel at golucidsolar.com and remember think globally act locally